Hey, what's up, guys? In this video, we're going to be going over the top five best cosmic characters in MCOC. And this one definitely will get some people triggered, but it's just the truth. And if you can't handle the truth, that sucks to suck. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, really, first, let's just go over some honorable mentions. Call Obsidian, really good character, but if you just had a little bit more block, it'd be kind of helpful. Venom, really good character once again. Surfer, really good for prestige. Venom the Duck, uh, kind of fun to play, but um, he's just not worth it. I don't know how many games here to play. Um, looking down a little bit more. Proxima, if you can get like 1.5 million special threes, which is pretty fun. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it that I can think of off the top of my head. So, oh, and Red Goblin. This guy, if he wasn't released at the same time as Cosmic Ghost Rider, would be probably in the top five. I think he's number six for me right now. <laughs> he's insane, dude, but he's just, he got outshadowed very hard. <laughs> um, so, yeah. Um, starting off the list at number five, um, we got Medusa. I remember back in the day when it was her and Hyperion, the two gods of the Cosmic class, and now she's number five hanging on by a thread so what makes medusa good well she's poison immune and what basically makes her good she is the there's two characters that can do it her and arcus but i think she's better um she, she's just shutting down robots once you put the armor shatter on the enemy they just as a robot they can't do anything they're just all their abilities get turned off they can't gain power it's just it's a bullying so you get like say a special three or you throw a special one whatever and you get the armor shutter up for like 35 seconds and then you can rotate special threes over and over again so they can just never get in power and you can just intercept backdraft in the corner forever and yeah her damage is very high with the um furies with her awakened ability with her awakened ability um every three seconds up to three sacks you get a fury which makes her damage a little bit better um and if you strike her twice she has a chance based on the sig level to auto block which is actually a really good piece of utility it saved me a few times um so yeah it's pretty fun um she's a really good character honestly if there if it's a robot she'll shut it down she'll just bully it um not as hard as magneto but pretty hard <laughs> so there's not too much to say about her but she's really good number four we got the other person who used to reign over the cosmic class hyperion the two best in the Cosmic are now at 4 and 5, in my opinion. So they're, they're at the bottom, but they're still really good characters. Um, Medusa, not as much, but like... Medusa's really good still, but like... Hyperion and... Like the top four Cosmic with Hyperion and the other three are really good characters. Like just really, really solid still. Even though he's number four, he's still a really good character. Hyperion, this guy's insane. Um, also keep in mind, the Cosmic class is very hard to compete in. Um, with the top char characters at least. So I what makes him good. He's uh, poison immune and What makes this guy a powerhouse is the fact that um, His heavy attack special one special two and special three all have a place in the game most characters they just rely on like one special and That's it this guy pretty much everything you do with him is good like there's something you can do like, everything he has, everything in his utility is just, like, useful for something in the game. Um, the fact that you want to spam heavies to get furies. On every heavy you throw, I think there's a 50% chance, a 40% chance on every hit of the heavy. And there's five hits in the heavy to get a fury. So it's pretty easy to get a few furies. Um, his oh, normal ability is just you, every, what is it? Or is it the power gain? Oh, passively. Um, where is this? Where is this fucking power game? I'm very confused where this thing is. Is it not in its abilities? Or am I just missing something? I don't know what I'm missing. But, every few seconds he gains a power game buff. And it's really strong. And it scales really nicely with the, um... The 5 star scales very weirdly though. Um, with his signature ability at sig 20 it's like 70 percent increased buff duration and sig like 200 it's like 74 percent so it's like no difference between like sig 1 sig 200 really 
This guy's very helpful Awaken because it almost doubles all of his furies and power gain buffs. And basically, you just want to stack up furies and you can throw special ones, special twos, special threes. Um, special threes if you run suicides. Um, when you throw a special three, it'll give you cosmic charges, which you, which you can convert into like a 25% regen. Um, so that's really helpful to stay topped up. His special one has five hits on the beam and every beam hit has a 50% chance to put an incinerate. So you can stack a shit ton of incinerates really easily with the power gain. So if you there's a, like a fight that's like 1% damage only you can take per hit, you can just do the fight with special one spam. Um, or like selective time stream, which is like every 20 seconds they need to have a incinerate or shock to not regen. He's really good for that. It's really good for despair. His special two um, has a decent chance. Let me see what it is. 60% chance to stun for four seconds and 100% chance to have an armor break. So sometimes you can get lucky and just stun lock them a few special twos. So that's pretty fun. So he's just an overall powerhouse. You get a few furious off his heavy. And the Furies are really strong. This guy can hit like a fucking truck. Um, and with all the buffs, he works well for buffed up, shit like that. He also works for that... F what's that nude? It's like... It puts poisons on you. I think it's... Caustic Temper or... Something like that, where it's basically... They take 90% less damage, unless you have a Fury on yourself. And then also, it'll um, put poisons on you. So you need a poison immune that can get fury, so he's good for that, because he's poison immune. He's just an overall pretty sick character. The other thing I will say is he could be maybe higher on the list. I don't know. He'd probably still be number four, but he's not available as a six star. So over the years, same thing with Medusa. So in a few years, like the one, two years, when everyone has like rank four, five, six stars, um, five stars are going to be kind of, or six star. Wait. When everyone has rank four, five, six stars, I think I said that, but I might have said five stars. Um, the five stars aren't going to be as useful. So with that being said, um, yeah, he might not be in the meta. But for right now, at least, five stars are still very useful. Um, and I think they will be for a long time for Act 6 and shit. But in the future, different characters that can be 6 star rank 4, 6 star rank 5 are probably going to pass him. Like Call Obsidian and Red Goblin and shit. But for now, he's number 4. Number 3, we're putting Captain Marvel Movie. Um, you could argue number one or two, but I just don't think so. I think she's just number three. Um, people argue, well, the argument for the longest time was her or Corvus, number one and two. But I always valued Corvus over her because Corvus has the cheat death and he just has so much more, like, just utility than her. But, but Captain Marvel is not someone to sleep on. She is fucking insane, okay? She's poison immune, as most good cosmics are. Um, and basically how she works is... Every time you parry, you get two charges. Um, energy attacks give more. And basically what you want to do is you want to build up to 25 binary. And once you get 25, it'll activate your binary ignition. And basically what this does is gives you five furies for every five charges you have. So once you get to 25, you'll have five furies. And she basically just hits like a truck in that phase. Um, each... I think what is it? Each binary charge in this mode, will, it will start decaying. At, um, where is it? Mm -mm. Oh, each charge lasts one point two seconds, so it slowly will fall off your charges. But if you throw a heavy attack, it'll add three, um, three more charges, and it's kind of hard to keep it up unless you synergize with Nick Fury. And luckily for you, Nick Fury. Um, it's a really good character, so to bring on the team, it's not that big of an ask. It'll make her a lot better, because the synergy with him makes her binary last an extra one second while in binary ignition. So she basically can keep it up at 25, like the whole thing. Or she can stay in binary for the whole time, basically. And damage in binary is just disgusting. She ends fights so quickly, and if you end the fight in binary, I think you start the next fight with, like, a bar and a bit of power. So you can start the fight go into binary, and then you just throw a special two after like a combo and the fight's pretty much over. And um, one thing really good is her signature ability. Basically, at yeah, SIG 200 is, in binary, she becomes indestructible for 12 seconds. So this is very helpful for like, say you're like on a, like a lane that's like, it puts bleed on you, okay? You start the fight in binary from the last fight, 
and you have 12 seconds of fully indestructibleness. So you have 12 seconds to kill the opponent um, before the bleed will like kill you or from like cow chops or something like that. You got 12 seconds to do as much damage as you can. And in most fights, 12 seconds is all you really need because you get to a special two because you start with a good chunk of power and then the fight's just over. So that utility alone, just being indestructible, is just insane. First 12 seconds. Also, you throw a special two, you have suicides on. Um, you start indestructible, so you don't have the bleed on you. And um, you throw a special two, and you don't take the recoil damage because you're still indestructible. So she's just an overall, like, just crazy tank. She's so good. Her damage is just absolutely maximum as fuck. Um, she also, if you intercept, uh, if you intercept with a heavy attack, like if you bait out their heavy attack and then you throw your heavy attack to counter it, um, you'll get more binary charges, obviously, but also you'll stun them. So it's like for Iron Man Infinity War, when you bait out the heavy and then counter with yours, um, you armor break him, you fully armor break him. And um, like any armor on him is off, so it's really helpful. And also um, he's stunned, so it's very helpful. So she's just an overall sick character. Um, yeah, there's not much to her. She's also really good for like, when, when energy hits her, she gets her binary real quickly. So if you start a fight and it's like the fight, the lane is like, puts a shock on you, you can just build up to 25 super quickly and it's super easy. So yeah, she's number three. She would be number two, but number two and one are very close. Um, number two, I'm going to give it to the new addition this month, Cosmic Ghost Rider. He's definitely the highest damage output in the Cosmic class, higher than the number one, which you probably know who that is at this point, if you've been playing the game. But Cosmic Ghost Rider, this guy is fucking insane, dude. He's bleed immune, incinerate immune, um, and then his damage. His damage is just disgusting. You play this guy, you start the fight, you go in, five hit combo, end with the light attack. It gives you a power gain. You go shooting up to like a bar and a half. You throw a, um, another combo. You go, um, you end it with a like a, a medium. So you get like another, you get like a valence or valence, something like that. You get some kind of weird buff. That's your second charge. You throw a heavy to get an amplitude to make all your buff stronger. At that point, you're at two bars of power. You throw a special two, and the fights are over. And if it's not over, all the armor breaks it puts on them um, just make your hits so strong. You put all these armor breaks on them, and then you go in your medium will crit for like 25, 30k. It's just bullying, dude. I mean, this guy's damage is so unreal. You can end Realm of Legends fights in like 20, 30 hits. Um, it's just straight up bullying, honestly. Like, it's just really not fun. And if they're really big opponents, then you can go for a special three to get this big-ass fury. It's just such, like, he's so good. And if you don't know what I mean, just search up a video on him. But this guy's damage is so... It's the highest in the class, easily. I mean, his damage is so high. But the, all, the only reason he's not number one is because his util... He has, he has decent util, like his mediums don't make contact, which I think counters Korg and like um, Electro, I think. I don't know 100%, I don't know 100% about that, but I'll test it. Um, but yeah, his damage is just too crazy. Like he's ending Act 6 fights and Act 6.4 in like 20, 30 hits. That is disgusting how good that is. It's just bullying, and a good thing about him is I don't think, I don't believe he needs his uh, weight ability at all. So yeah, he, he's just so good, dude. Like, he's so good. I just wish I had him, bro. I had him as a 6 child rank 3 him without any hesitation. I'll tell you that for sure. So he's down to number 2. So he's just so good. Another number 1, if you've won this game for more than 5 minutes, you probably know it's Corvus. <laughs> um... I put him above Cosmic Ghost Rider. I don't know. Cosmic Ghost Rider might be the best in the class, but for now, I'm going to still stick with Corvus. Because Corvus is just so good. Corvus is... He is... um, uh, What is it called? He is... He does not take damage from Cold Snap, Bleed, Shock, or Frostbite. So what that means is... He can get the debuffs on himself, but they won't do any damage, so he'll just heal from willpower, which is very, very fun. Um... Just, just he just heals from them instead of just being straight up immune, which is honestly better in a lot of scenarios. His guaranteed crit is just so good. How strong his damage are, but as you can just go into a fight and start dealing crazy damage, no ramp up needed, whatever. Um, you need to win a fight with him. 
even before he went to fight, um, his damage range is around like 150k, um, a little bit more, a little bit less, maybe 180k without a charge. And once you get that first charge, you're pretty much set for the quest. Um, unless it's like X 6.4, which he kind of struggles with a little bit with damage wise, but the util is all there. He can counter evade fully. He um, armor breaks on heavy or not heavy on um, parry, which is really good for like killmonger and shit. Uh, basically, what makes this guy so good is all his immunities and shit. But what makes him really good there are two things. One, his special two is just so good. It's one of the best specials in the game to throw off. It's unblockable, and it just hits so hard. And also, if they're at 100% of their power, it'll drain 20% of their power. So, if they're at max power, you can just power drain them. It's pretty nice. And the other thing that makes him so good is his awakened ability. Once you get him awakened... Um, he can't die if he has glaive charges and you know that's very helpful for like AQ and like incursion bosses like you just at 1% health and you just never die um, until you run out of charges but most things are dead before you run out of charges so his cheat death and immunity and immortality ability is just so good he just has to be number one still I mean he definitely cannot out damage cosmic ghost rider but his damage is still one of the highest in the game so Cor Corvus is just so good, dude. He's just so sexy. His prestige is pretty good, too. Um, yeah, just the guaranteed crits are just so nice on this dude. He hits so fucking hard. And he's one of those characters that he is extremely, like, you extremely, like, every rank makes him a lot better. Like, for a character like Cosmic Ghost Rider, 6-star rank 2 is, like, versus 6-star rank 3, it's, like, better. But he, like, doesn't, like, need it. Corvus, every rank is helpful and very nice for him, so he can do more damage in between his um, trying to get his first charge and get higher um, damage output. He's just so good, dude. He's just I can't stress this enough. If you oh, also you have to run suicide to this guy. Do not six star max out a Corvus rank three, all that shit. If you don't run suicides, if you don't run suicides, you probably like Captain Marvel movie better than him. But if you're a real endgame player, you probably run suicides, and you, like, Corvus is just so good. The also reason I put him above Captain Marvel movie, which other people, a lot of people don't agree with this, Captain Marvel movie, she kind of needs Nick Fury to be, like, super good. Without Nick Fury, she's good, but it's still hard to keep in binary. So you kind of need another person on the team. So for AQ, my team is Ghost, Corvus, Quake. I can't fit Nick Fury on that team to replace Captain Marvel movie for Corvus, and I don't have a spot for Nick Fury. So it'd be kind of hard to use. Also, you need to get into the fight by parrying a lot with uh, Captain Marvel movie for the first fight. Corvus, you just fly in straight away. So for me, the fact that he doesn't require a second person to be good makes him better than Captain Marvel movie for me. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Get a like, comment, subscribe. Um, tell me what your list should be for the Cosmic class. This class is very powerful. Um, the top three characters, Cosmic Ghost Rider, Cosmic Ghost Rider, Corvus, and Catmore movie are just some of the best characters in the game, and they're just so strong. Like, this class has a lot of power from the t in the top, but it kind of does dwindle down after the top few. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like, comment, subscribe, and yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.